Hi there, Rory from Bitwax, and today we're going to be reviewing probably the most successful uh, NFT music project that I've came across. It was also one of the first that I've came across, and I'm quite surprised I haven't done a video covering it yet, but that is Catalog Works. Um, to date, they've raised almost $2 million for musicians and artists, and just that alone is, is absolutely staggering. So yeah, in today's video, it's just gonna be a quick breakdown of all the things that I find very useful and incredible about Catalog, and I'll be honest, I might start being a bit harsher with some of these NFT music platforms. And um, So first and foremost today, before I start the video, uh, any musicians who are watching this and want to learn how to list their music as NFTs, uh, I will be putting together a small series to go from zero knowledge to having your work listed as an NFT within the day. Uh, that will come at a future date. But for now, any artist who's wanting to list their work on Catalog Works, um, I'll be honest, the application process will take a long time. But initially, uh, a lot of people don't realize is Catalog was set up on top of the free music platform, Audius. So if you show initiative and you start to build a following and release your music sensibly on Audius, uh, I really don't see how that could be a negative side effect to anything but help you towards getting listed on Catalog. So right now, before this video starts, go download Audius uh, and just create a user profile and just start uploading your music. So before we jump onto Catalog's site, uh, we're just going to quickly go down this thread that Catalog's put together. Uh, Catalog is not a streaming platform. Catalog is a gem record shop. Catalog is a music library. Uh, and basically, this is my favorite part, is Catalog should feel like you're essentially digging through a record shop. And Catalog is infinite. Catalog believe artists should be able to make a living from their music on their own terms. Uh, and Catalog is above all else and so much more. Thank you so much to our community of artists, listeners and collectors who have rocked with us in 2021. We couldn't be more excited for what's coming in 2022. Uh, and one of the biggest standouts uh, of Catalog so far is this right here. Uh, this year, independent artists have earned $1.65 million selling music on Catalog. I mean, that is uh, that is staggering. I'm going to give that a retweet right now, actually. <laughs> that is that is incredible. Yeah. To everyone involved, the Catalog team, the artists, well, well done. For such a small, unique niche that is the world of music NFTs, you are absolutely nailing this. Uh, as well, before I carry on any further, I would like to highlight this video from Russ, which is put out on his YouTube channel. Uh, he does an absolutely fantastic job of breaking down what his catalog works. He's probably going to do a far better job than I can ever do. Okay, so we're just going to load the catalog works uh, website right now. Uh, as you can see, it's loading. The loading speed is very fast. Uh, at the top right here, the first thing we're going to do is connect our wallet and create an account. Okay, now that's loading. And we can see by the little icon up here that our account is now on. So your account's pretty easy to set up once you've got your wallet connected. You can just head over to this edit page here and edit any details, pictures, display name, description, and links to anything that you do. Back on the home page of Catalog now, and the user interface and user experience is just seamless. It's absolutely beautiful just, and very simple, just click and scroll. Um, so some users have complained that when you're playing an audio track, the visuals in the background are just of a static image that spins. But I do like Catalog's take on this, which is Catalog aims to make music the focal point. Uh, plain and simple, that's all you need to know. Uh, all the fancy GIFs, videos, animations, moving artworks can just be a distraction when, <laughs> at the end of the day, the music is what matters. I will be linking all these articles in the description of the YouTube video so you can go down and read all this for yourself. Uh, I would advise going to this version of the catalog FAQs because it answers every single question you can think of. So we've just scrolled down here to this track by Jitsu um, and we're just going to let this play and let you experience the audio quality uh, and we're going to show you how to purchase the record or how to leave a bid or even better how to just create it into a playlist which any user can do. So yeah, some pretty heavy, uh, like almost techno elements going on there in this house track of Jitsu's. Uh, very nice, very simple. I like it. Um, to purchase up here, we have the purchase price is 0.5 ETH. And to purchase, simply click on the purchase button and it'll take you to the page. Well, obviously it says here we don't have enough ETH in our wallet to do so. Uh, take you to the page where you can purchase that directly off. Or alternatively, if you don't have enough money, you can come down to here. It gives you a bit more description about the record details, the file format and when it was pressed. Uh, as well, if you're not happy with the 0.5 Ethereum, if you think it's too expensive, there's always a cheaper option of make an offer and hopefully they'll accept it. 
So as well, if you make an offer on the record, we'll head over to the FAQ page here because there's a little bit more we can learn about. What is a slice? When a listener makes an offer on a record, they may include a slice, zero to 100%. Think of the slice as a bidder telling the record owner, if you accept my offer, when I sell this record, you'll get a cut. The slice can sweeten the deal for the record owner, especially if the bidder has a history of a reputable taste creation or curation, sorry, as they may sell the record for higher than average later on. When the record is resold, the slice automatically goes to the previous owner. And this section here, the creator share, says 15%. Now, that 15% means that forevermore from this day forth, that Jitsu will receive 15% of the sale value forever. As he grows as, a, as an artist, he, his work will become more valuable. And if his work carries on selling for future and future, he will receive 15% forevermore. Brilliant. Yeah, artists set a creator share before they press a record. The creator share is a percentage that goes back to the artist every time their record is resold. Um, so what do you do if you're an artist that's fresh out of school, fresh out of college, or just generally don't have any money to be able to place a bid, to be able to afford the gas fees, and you want to be involved in catalogue works? What do you do? Well, they have something set up for you called Spaces. Now, Spaces let any and all users uh, of catalog curate a playlist of their choice. And if you are an artist who has music on catalog, it's probably more beneficial for you to do this as well because you can do what Spotify currently does and, and their models are a lot of artists will create a, a playlist of similar genre tracks to what they already have and they'll update this daily, weekly, monthly uh, and throughout that playlist, uh, which obviously gains a lot of traction from other users, uh, they also scatter their own songs in there. So if you can create worth to somebody through a playlist that you've made, um, and you also have music released on catalog, combine the two together of your music choices with your actual music, and it'll just increase the streams to the music that you're putting out there. Now, while it is in its very basic form at the minute, this could grow into the cornerstone of what catalog is about for music discovery and sharing. So we're back on the catalog website now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly show you how to actually set up a playlist. Uh, the first artist and song that we're gonna put in is Computer Data, and his song's called LRA. So at the bottom here, you can find add to space. This will slowly load. Uh, you haven't created any spaces. So we're actually gonna create a space now, just purely for house music that us Bitwax like. Um, so we can give it a quick title, a quick few notes about it, and a quick image. So I'll build this out, and it'll be two seconds. So we have the uh, spaces pretty much created now. We haven't clicked save just yet. Uh, we have an image in, and we have our playlist title and a little description. Uh, and essentially, this is actually going to be our Bitwax playlist for all house music that we find on catalog. So if you've got some fantastic house music and it's listed on catalog, send us a DM on Twitter and we will add you to the Bitwax selects playlist if we find it, uh, you know, good. Uh, and this is what I was saying earlier about how we could potentially build a playlist here, which could drive a lot of traffic towards new music. Uh, but also that traffic, we could divert that towards our links. So, you know, if we provide value through the music and the, and the track selections that we provide uh, in our description here in return, the users who are looking at our tracks could also visit our social medias and from there they could find our Instagrams, Twitters, uh, YouTubes and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, another quick one before we move on here, we're just going to break down an artist profile page of what it consists of. So you've got the at username, the wallet address for this specific artist, the username here, which is displayed in the profile picture. Uh, a short description, and then two social media accounts here are linked for this one here, which is Frequency. Uh, we can also see the catalogue of music they've uploaded and very easily listen to all that. Uh, any music they've collected here, and any playlists they've created uh, in the Spaces tab at the end here. So once you've successfully made a purchase from a song on catalogue, you will be given access to all the files stored with inside of that, which include the track and the artwork. Uh, this is all stored on a decentralized network called IPFS. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, the music that you buy initially, you don't have any rights for unless stipulated otherwise by the artist. And I've saved this little part for the last part of the video because if you've made it this far through, you've obviously shown enough interest to want to be a part of Catalog. Uh, and this is the application process to get onto Catalog. Uh, I can give you this, but I'll be honest, I really don't think you stand much chance of getting on. So that's why I suggest you go to Audius and actually build a profile for yourself on Audius 
uh, ensure that you're actually committed to being a part of the music uh, network in NFTs. Here's the form that you will start to fill out for your application to join catalog. Uh, I will link this in the, in the description down below. Um, yeah, and if you've enjoyed anything else that I've put together here, just head over to our Twitter. Uh, show us a bit of love. It's at bitwax underscore. We do a, as much music NFT news as we can. We share tweet threads on production tips. We have our own NFT project launching soon. I will cover this more fully as, that, as we get closer to that. Uh, we also release a, a weekly mix of about an hour's worth of music. Uh, this week's been Acid Breaks. And yeah, we just try to keep in touch with the music NFT scene as much as possible because there isn't many resources out here at the minute uh, promoting anything musically. So that's where we've stepped up into. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.